Hello guys, I'm excited to see your beautiful faces once again right here on the Africa Amazed channel. As you can see, my table is inundated with stuff, but how did I get to this point? Let's rewind back. I get so excited when I carry a very huge package like this. It's been a while I've seen your amazing faces on this channel. Today we have some unboxing to do. If you're someone who uses a very huge camera, then you know that it's always a challenge finding a kind of gimbal that can handle a very heavy payload. What we have here today, instead of telling you, let me show you. See what we got guys, it is the Zayun Crane S3 Pro. This is a very huge gimbal and as you can see right here on the box, just the image on the box alone says a lot because you can see a red being balanced on this gimbal. So let's go ahead, let's do this unboxing, let's open this. And we have this right surface on top, put this down and this is kind of all the accessories that we have inside the gimbal. So we start with this. This is the HDMI cable. This is the cable that links to the transmitter because this box actually comes with an image transmitter. So this is it. And this is what wirelessly transmits all the video footage to your monitor or wherever that you want to monitor. This right here is a focus motor and this is what attaches to the lens and sets the focus. Sometimes you can cheat, you can also add this. Maybe if you have a variable ND filter, you can attach this to your lens and use it for that purpose instead. Sometimes you just have to be wise. Just because the manufacturer says it's for something doesn't actually mean you have to use it for that purpose. And what do we have here? This is supposed to be attached to the side of the gimbal to provide power to the gimbal. And for most people who don't actually attach this part, to the gimbal. One major complaint I've come across online is most people who have used it in this nature, they end up getting very shaky footage with this particular gimbal. I don't know whether it has to do with the algorithm or something, but people who don't attach this tend to have a little bit of issues calibrating the gimbal, or even if it's calibrated, they still have this little micro jittery shakes within the video. And if you want more details on this, consider looking at the video that was done by Potato Jets because he actually went into details. He actually took this thing to the field and tried it out. If you don't know Potato Jets, Potato Jet is one of my very favorite YouTubers and he actually does lots of gear reviews, especially when it comes to camera and stuff. You should definitely check him out. I'll have links to Potato Jets video in the description below. Kindly check out that video if you want more details on the do's and don'ts of this gimbal and I mean, the kind of loads that it can carry. So let's proceed. And I have this also here. This is the handle over here. This is actually the phone holder. As you can see, it has an image of the phone attached to it. You can attach this to the gimbal and straight away, it gives you the ability to be able to plug in your smartphone and use it. That is all the extra accessories that we have. Let's put this to the side. Let's unbox this. So, take this out and <sighs> guys, we finally have this here. So, bonus <laughs> manual, as you can see. So, push this to the side. Right. Trust me, sometimes when you're doing the research online and you want to buy something like this for a very big camera, people say it's huge, but I don't know the feeling when you see it for the very first time or when you see it physically, you see the sheer size of this. It's just overwhelming. And let me take it out. Yeah, so this it's actually the main unit of the gimbal. And as you can see, this is kind of very ready to go. This right here is the focus controller. 
And one thing I like about this gimbal is this particular uh, lockers that you can use to lock the various axes whilst you balance the other areas. And also, if you want to transport it like this, this is also another, um, or this is where this kind of things come in very handy. You can use it to lock. And if you look inside, we have batteries here. Let me take that out. So this is the batteries you use to power them. Um, if you look very closely to the button here, uh, you can open over here. Uh, you press release, it opens right there and you can insert the batteries over there. And we have, uh, this is the release plate or the quick release plate that you attach to it. Uh, let's just put this back since I'm not going to be uh, setting up on any camera. And this is a stand that you can put it um, under or beneath and just put this on the table or a flat surface where you can set it up. As you can see, this is something that you can actually open up. Uh, let me show you like this. And it can actually go on a flat surface or actually go on the table as you can see. So that is what is used for. Others also use it as kind of like an extension rod for uh, the gimbal was it's under. And as you can see, we have this. <laughs> mm, and the scent of the packaging is really very... This camera recording me right now is about to die off. But in order not to ruin the experience, let's just keep the top view running till the end of the video where I have to do the outro, then we switch back to this camera. So let's just keep the live view going. That is a view from the top. You have this attached and uh, I don't really know what this is, but I guess um, I can see the USB sign here. And so I guess it's something that has to do with uh, being able to plug this to do uh, the update or to uh, update the firmware. And this is also, um, a hand or attachment that you can attach to the gimbal. As you can see, it offers you the opportunity. Um, you can move this and you can also use this to zoom in and out and you can use this to record and all that. And you can see go and some other buttons. Uh, we have ports here that uh, you can plug in the uh, focus motor or plug in a controller here to allow you to be able to control um, other parts of the camera and like I already said in the beginning or just when I took this out the sheer size of this just look at the size of the motors guys no wonder it can carry a whole red or it can carry very very big cameras at the end of the day myself I'll be going ahead to figure a lot out about this gimbal and over here uh, you have this particular attachment and this is also for charging the batteries these batteries that you have here those batteries are actually uh, chargeable so you have the options to be able to use them there and of course this is to help you secure the lens if you have a very huge lens or a very long lens attached to the gimbal you can use this um, to support the lens so that the lens doesn't fall off or it doesn't you know and balance the gimbal this gimbal is actually a beast when it comes to carrying cameras which have very high payload. So if you are out there in the market searching for a gimbal for a very heavy camera, or a very big camera, the Zhiyun Crane S3 Pro, it's my biggest bet for you, especially if you are thinking about keeping things small or things very compact. And if you're thinking about going with one or just handheld gimbals like this, I would definitely recommend that you get this gimbal because I mean, the price point is really very good. And of course, I'm, I personally am not talking about price points because I actually got this right here in Ghana, right here in Africa. So the price is kind of totally different when you're buying things here. We have to pay the tax component. I mean, you have to pay for shipping and all other things and all those things cost extra. And so the amount at which you buy things right here on the continent of Africa is totally different from, let's say, if I'm buying from the US or I'm buying from Canada or any other part of the world and that is how things work over here. Let me put this back into the package since we are not using this. And this is how it goes, fades back inside very well. I wish the top camera was still running so that I could show you this, but maybe let me still keep playing some B-rolls so that you can still keep seeing the top view of this because 
I'm back to this camera right now. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any further questions, you can leave them in the comment section below or you can hit me up on Instagram at OBL underscore junior. And yes, yes, again, like I said, if you are out there searching for a gimbal for a big camera that you have, this Zeyun Crane S3 Pro is my biggest bet or is one that I will certainly recommend that you get for your shoots. Thank you so much for watching. And like always, I would catch you in the next one. Until next time, like we do it on the African Base channel, as always, guys, keep practicing filmmaking. Peace out. Now, I have to figure a way of packing all these things back. Let's do this.